you everybody, Texas Trail Gear Airlines is performing shop at LoneStarMobars.com. Change of pace here for you. Um, I'm super, super tired, basically been swamped at work since March, you know the drill. But uh, I felt like this was something we needed to get covered, so we're going to do this. Have videos ready to go, but uh, I want to try and do my best to take care of you on things like this. So first thing first, tool of the day. I want to know who cashed in on the XL Cobra. Everybody gets the XS and goes EDC, but XL, that's uh, that's 16 inches of Cobra right there. So uh, let me know if you pulled the trigger on that, but back to the main KC tool page. You're going to see right there at the top, Dark Gray Friday number one. Now, uh, this is something that started last Friday. Essentially, uh, you've got, of course, all your Black Friday cyber sales, which seems like people have been doing since like almost Labor Day a lot of places uh, not that there's anything wrong with that you can get some great deals but KC tool has decided to do things differently you probably if you've been around or you know viewed my channel for a while you probably cashed in on some of their Black Friday sales this is very similar but they're doing it different I personally am a fan of this because you get way way more opportunity to find something you're really gonna like and uh, let me just go ahead and take you there now this is something uh, we can click here or you can come to the beloved drop down arrow and go to dark gray Friday which we'll just do that uh, I don't know if anyone else cares about like the change in format to the web page but I dig it. it makes sense with the dark gray Friday and I've got a sad story here uh, I told you I've been swamped I've worked the last two weekends uh, and then this past Friday when this launched, I think I was in the office briefly, uh, and I mean like from like 7.20 a.m. to like 7.45 a.m., and then I was in the shop all day, and I think I left around like 7 something. Uh, got home, made supper, finally got this going, and by the time I got to go through my emails and get online and check sites like I'll do, this right here was gone. The Stavilla double open-ended metric wrench set. Do we have that? Yes. Would I have bought that at $55 to take to work? Oh, yes, I would have. Not a ton of stuff is metric at work, but hey, uh, these would almost be like a really high, high-quality thin wrench. And it's an expansive set, especially for a situation like that where I don't see much metric stuff. So anyway, uh, back to what this is. There's number one, right? Every Friday, meaning here, you'll see this video here in a couple hours, Wednesday morning. On Friday, these seven products are going away, at least at this sale price, and you're going to have Dark Gray Friday number two. So that's going to continue every single Friday. So if you look at this stuff, you already have it, you don't want it, you don't need it, whatever. Don't worry, brace yourself for the coming Friday. Alright, so uh, let's just run through these real quick. We have got the beloved Vera Multicolor Hex Keys. I know some of you don't like the sleeves. Uh, to me, the sleeves are super nice for the fact of when you're spinning them. Uh, it's just you can spin them much, much quicker. Uh, they do come off. There are times they're a little cumbersome, but uh, I've been using the quarter and the three eighths here recently at work. Uh, long story. I've Actually, you know what? No, let's go there. Uh, so, Cushman. Not a scooter. No, no, no. Cushman. The other Cushman. What is that? Some of you may know. It's a chuck on the lathe, right? So this is a three jaw. This particular one made in Japan. Uh, kind of crazy, but long story short, I don't think this thing had ever been opened up. If it has, whoever did it has the cap screws immaculate. <laughs> that's why I don't think it's it was ever opened up. So um, I've had to do a lot of lathe stuff here. It's lathe three, lots of issues. Pinion gear replaced it. Didn't know the rack was broken. Had the great idea to switch the rack front to back. Thought it was equidistant. It is not. You've got like roughly three feet, roughly five foot, not four foot. Uh, that came in today. Of course, I had no time to do that. But um, got the pinion gear replaced in like record time. And then just getting that rack off, which I didn't even know was broken because the carriage was obscuring it. Yeah, apparently like 40 plus years of cutting fluid um, is almost like a pine tar glue. <laughs> so if you know, you know. But yeah, I, I did not anticipate that taking longer than the pinion gear. Anyway, the chuck. I got the guy back up and running. And ran two parts, switched operations. Basically the jaws inside, outside type of a deal. And the chuck just froze. It is totally seized. Uh, I've got the thing apart. I'm to the point where like, you know, you turn it over and the, the gear should fall out and you should have access to the scroll to presumably clean it out. 
it will not come out will not come out i've done everything i know to do i was absolutely filthy today because i was just like hey you know if it's that seas let's put some air to it <laughs> and, uh, uh, it was a good idea aside from like everything that shot in my face and that was with my gloved hand covering the orifices where i thought things would fly at me uh, severely underestimated that it's like a turban if you will but uh what i'm saying that for that's why these you know varus have seen some hot use here recently on some obscenely torqued half screws but uh if the problem is i cannot get the jaws out okay so the jaws are they're seized i can't move them in i can't move them out they are just stuck they are currently located you know i've got the like the teeth off but like the jaws on the chuck you know the backside that your provisions would bolt to those are just there i have zero access to the scroll aside from like a tiny tiny tip at the top uh, near the OD, if you will, of the Chuck housing. I got some brass punches in, and as you might have guessed, with that small of a place, I they bend. <laughs> and anything bigger that might not bend can't fit. So I'm kind of at a loss there. You know, I, there's not not old dudes around that are like awesome machinists anymore that have you know, done this. Internet, you know, it's like, oh yeah, stuff just falls apart. No one ever has like this stuff seized in this position <laughs> and uh if anyone has any ideas please tell me because i'm losing sleep and sanity over that but yeah uh the hex keys are awesome and at 26 bucks that's this is your time to shine this if you've never done them do them uh some of you will note these are sae you might scoff at that again i can't explain it three eighths and quarters what i need there <laughs> don't ask questions makes no sense to me either but uh, what we have going here, if you think, hey, man, yours looked different than that. I had them old school. Think German tool reviews, you know, back in the day they came in the pouch. I kind of think I might prefer the pouch, in all honesty. Uh, the holder is nice as well, but for $26, this is just a fantastic deal. You're getting, I think it's 13 pieces. You're getting a lot of them. And as you can see, that big one in the blue sleeve is 3 eighths. That is a very good size hex key if you've never used it. These are also the longer ones, so just you can't go wrong there. Um, coming in next again, this, I don't know how many of these they had. They were gone Friday, last Friday. I totally would have bought a set to, again, take to work. We're covered at home, luckily, but uh, it's one of those things of such a stupid good price. You just kind of can't pass that up. So, uh, coming in next, this is actually a fantastic torque wrench. I got this one of the, you know, people always think, oh, YouTuber gets free things. Now, this is like one of the legit things that I actually did receive. And you've seen all my other torque wrenches in that video. They are click style, they're old school. <laughs> and uh, this thing is like a flagship uh compared to what i had i love it use it all the time uh only thing i would change is if i could go like slightly lower on the torque settings and use it more but uh that said that thing's great uh, you're probably not going to see that low of a price again not going to be up everyone's alley not everyone uses torque wrenches some of you have digital uh granted if you're in the market or it's something you had looked at in the past that's a phenomenal price uh, we've got these as well, 12-inch NWS. You can never have too many locking pliers. Uh, those are pretty good. They've kind of got like that uh, black texture coating. It's almost like a truck bed liner, uh, just a little thinner, if you will. But I uh, haven't really had any issues with them. And, uh, again, there's tons. NWS, they have a ton of locking pliers, and you can get them for considerably less money than you can some other brands. That's a worth a look. Maybe this is your gateway into that. This next deal, I haven't looked to see if this is gone, but it is a fantastic buy. Okay, it's still here somehow. Now, these right here, sadly, I've got so much stuff that's so backlogged. Like, I've recorded all this stuff and I haven't released it, you know, the drill. <laughs> but, uh, I just got, I've had this Philo number 9, which that's what these yellow handles are. It's a new design from Philo, the number 9. I have had that thing on order for an eternity. I think it was the holdup. I could be wrong. It might have been something from Knipex. But anyway, on that order, that literally came to me, I want to say, Saturday afternoon. And uh, Philo number 9 is now in the house. And that set... I paid probably, I don't know, seven, eight bucks to get the, you might have guessed, the number two Phillips, 100 millimeter four inch shank. That is included in the set. I do want to stress that that set has slotted Phillips and square. 
Uh, you might want to check the provisions before you do it, but you cannot go wrong. Buy that to see if you like it. Buy it because you want something yellow. Buy it because it comes with the cutter. It's just 13 to, it's $14. <laughs> and you're getting five drivers and a, what I understand, I've always heard people talk about Ulfa might be botching that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you might have guessed this is on the way to me. Should be here tomorrow if I'm thinking correctly. But again, I don't know how that has not sold out at $14. Like you just, you cannot go wrong. That would be one or two drivers most of the time. This next deal was really kind of cool. It's a 75th anniversary Heiko. Obviously, they're going to be, you know, just you can get a feel for the randomness of this. Uh, we had a torque wrench, some locking ply, a really nice, diverse selection. I don't know if they're going to replicate that with different brands. I don't know if they go like plier centric or ratchet centric on one of them. Uh, you're going to want to come back and check Dark Gray Friday drop number two at 10 a.m. Central Time. Very cool to see Central Time. That's right. Everyone on the East Coast, you adjust for a change. But uh, the last item right here, this is going to be in stock, I would imagine, in most sizes. That is a really solid price. If you have priced hoodies recently, or you have people that peddle merch to you, like, everything is insane. Uh, $31.99, getting 42% off. That's a win. I've got one where it quite frequently, and you also get to see Colin there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these are just stupid good deals. Um, I'm kind of tempted to pull the trigger on this for work. Uh, just to have like a really good torque wrench there in my cart as well. Not sure if I will or not, but uh, this is one I'm really sad I missed out on. Again, if you got in on that, let me know what time you bought it. Like I said, it was a stupid long day for me Friday. And uh, I saw this at like probably this time of night. I tell you people I do this stuff like between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. I say it because it's the gospel. You can watch it turn over to midnight here in the lower right hand corner. But Dark Gray Friday, I wanted to alert you to this if you were unaware in the event that you can cash in on any of this. And so you'll be ready for Friday. Uh, hopefully you don't uh, buy out from under me what I would like. <laughs> by virtue of me making this video but uh yeah i will do that and by the way still as of recording this all this time nearly 100 casey tool hauls in the book technically more than that when you consider all the special edition stuff we've done still no affiliate link that's right rolling old school just doing it for the love of the game so speaking of that if we come down to our beloved drop down arrow you'll see gift ideas i've already got that pulled up why because my internet sucks and i was legitimately afraid i would lose internet <laughs> when I'm recording this. So, uh, if you're perusing around, maybe just like click the Knipex tab up here. You might see one of these and be like, well, what is going on? This is what's going on. These are some gift ideas from KC Tool. Some of these, you got to watch. Now, the, the Dark Gray Friday, those were priced amazing. Buy it now. Some of this stuff, you might hold out for Tool of the Day. Some of it's like, ooh, buy it now. Some of it, you're like, hey, that's like... Not much of a sale, uh, but it does serve as a good gift guide, right? So, Kinepex shears, those are great. Um, really, pretty much any of them are if you got like a set brand, you know, brand or color or color from a brand. Uh, I don't think you can really go wrong there. Again, I have a pair that I retired. It's a sentimental value. I didn't really retire them, I just keep them for clean stuff. I had to cut the gauze off my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nightmare. Um, and then I got the updated version, and I was always going to make a comparison video. I've still never done that because we just keep cranking out tool hauls. Twin grips, if you don't own these, you need to own these. I like them better. Van pliers, fantastic name. No one can top that. Uh, but what I have found in using van pliers is the teeth, they function, you know, okay, but the teeth wear rapidly. I have not experienced that, and I have a ton of twin grips. Right here, you just got a classic 7-inch Cobra in the red textured grip. Uh, again, keep in mind here, like if you see 30-plus percent off, not a terrible deal, right? Uh, these, again, you can't argue with getting something off, but it's not as good of a deal as, say, the twin grips. Coming in over here, these are beautiful. Uh, spoiler alert, I might have bought a set for my nephew for Christmas because I'd given him, I think, one or two prior, and he was like, oh, yeah, this is great. Uh, green is his favorite color. And so if you're that type of a person, uh, you will... This is like a nostalgic throwback. This is like classic acetate hands. Some like if you 
walked into a store in the 60s, you would find something like this. Uh, ergonomically, compared to some other things, some people are going to like it, some people are going to hate it. Uh, I don't think anyone will argue with the beauty. It's kind of like Philo's wood handles. Like, even if you don't like them, you're like, oh, that's a very well done wood handle. These just look stupid good. Plus, this is a fantastic buy, 64% off. Seven pieces, even if you got these as like a beater bench top set, uh, at that price point, just to kind of feel them out. You're like, I don't really care what the handle's like. We're just going to bang on them. They can't go wrong at that price. Right here, you'll note, this is like not even on sale. But it's also at a price point. It kind of doesn't have to be. But uh, that is an updated design of the Vera Magnetizer. These right here, uh, this goes way back in time. And I picked these up because I was wanting to actually, believe it or not, use that crimp function on some open barrel stuff. This is one of like the only pliers I could find that did that that wasn't automatic. Uh, it actually works really well. I do like these. They're a little stiff, a little old school. They sort of slowly break in. <laughs> 50% off. If you're looking for a good pair of combination strippers, those are awesome. So up at the top of the head, sort of up here, you've got like your classic, you know, red, yellow, blue, you know, for your, you know, gauged wire connectors. That works well too. But down here in the throat where it says quick view, unfortunately, that is above the strip section where you've actually got that extra area and you can do like your open barrel stuff. Uh, again, pretty nice, especially at 50% off. Coming in another great buy, 7-inch Cobras. I'm not sure. The 10-inch, yes, more leverage. In terms of like max accessibility, which accessibility not only entails going in and doing what you need to do with a fastener, but sometimes you don't have space for a 10, 12, 16-inch handle. The 7-inch, the 180 millimeter, those are really, really well-sized in my opinion. Uh, same thing right here on the pliers wrench. Again, note the Cobra, almost 50% off. Pliers wrench, it's there. It's a great gift idea, especially in tandem. Maybe justify it. You almost got that half off. You know, whatever works for you. Uh, coming in down here, this is currently out of stock, but again, you can pick them up. The Dark Gray Friday, once it's gone, man, it is gone. Tool of the day, like people never seem to pick up on this, but if tool of the day right now, which we'll check that here in a second, I guess, is sold out, you can buy it. It will ship to you when it comes in. They honor the price. The Dark Gray Friday, it is first come, first serve. So, uh, seven inch pliers wrench here, fifty one seventy nine. It's a big jump between the two component and the textured grip because this one is discounted. 17, I'd have to think about it. Uh, I am not a huge fan of that. I prefer their two components. Um, I hate <laughs> their dipped handle. Uh, I'm saying dipped, think channel lock, you know, classic smooth vinyl. I know, I know, it cleans the best, but um, I used to not mind this. I've just gotten to where, like, I kind of just prefer the two component from them. So I wouldn't really call theirs a comfort grip, but I would consider it a two component. Basically, I just, I don't have to, like, crunch my fingers down as much, <laughs> you know? Uh, coming up next, this would be a great stocking stuffer, like desk gift. Uh, if you got like four or five guys on your crew or something, stuff like this, you can never go wrong with what I like the best about this one from Picard. It's sort of like a metallic orange, burn orange color. Makes it super visible. Uh, I th We've got that. Um, it's not going to be my number one choice, but again, it is unique. And if you got somebody, again, just like my nephew in green up here on the Heikos, if you got somebody, UT, whatever it might be, uh, boom, there you go. Uh, this little Philo bottle opener, that thing took forever. That was the 4th of July promo. Basically, buy anything, get that, something along those lines. That thing was out of stock for so terribly long. Uh, it is back, I assume, in a very, very large quantity. And again, there's a lot of people that collect bottle openers. It's also a great way to get a feel for their handle if you never dealt with the ergonomic. Personally, I prefer buying a driver for that. But uh, if you into the red and yellow, you want high vis, you collect it. There you go. Uh, possibly the most unknown thing on this page is this. This thing's awesome. I've got a video on it, but I don't think it's released yet. But it seems like it would have because again, I probably like recorded it in April. But uh, I will tell you, if you're ordering, and you, this is one of those things, if you need free freight, if the tool of the day right now is like $65, and you're going to go buy it, and you're going to pay 10 to 15 in freight, 
put this on, hit the 75 threshold, get free freight, have something to show for it, and you're going to love that guy. I won't go into great detail there because, again, we've got a video, and I'm sure someone will, like, come in and snip that up and, you know, be like they found it first and mine comes out in April and, you know, you know copycat. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Uh, you know, that, that was recorded, you know, 12 months ago. But uh, right here, we might also have something similar to this, and uh, I will tell you, uh, I was blown away by the quality of these. They are super, super nice. Note again, though, that is not on sale. You might check the burger line. They have a, not like an insane amount of variety, but there are different options. You might explore around, see what you think you would like, or something would work better than the other, springed, not springed, so on and so forth. Uh, but if you at all do any landscaping, gardening, uh, even if it's just like running over to your grandmother's place, you know, and trimming a hedge or, you know, pear tree or something. Uh, these are pretty nice. Uh, this right here, again, note, not on sale, but these are stupid good. Now, I was always under the impression, I remember when I got these, uh, I was kind of miffed that I wasn't able to cut through more. But, uh, again, I didn't read their capacities. I just assumed based on the size and design they'd be able to handle more. Uh, for what they do handle, they do it very well, and that's the important thing. Plus, they're actually really comfortable. Right here, this is a holiday gift set. You're going to get the twin grip. You're going to get looks like some pretty large, at least 8 to 10-inch range uh, side cutters. You get the alligators. I think the alligator slept on personally, and you get sort of some combination needle nose there. Uh, again, not on sale really, but uh, check around, you know. Maybe you don't want to get that particular set. Go to the Knipex tab and explore. This thing right here, uh, it actually looks pretty good too. Um, again, not a sale price, but, you know, kind of some ideas. Yeah. What interest, I, again, I have soft face stuff on my mind because of, you know, trying to deal with the Cushman Chuck. <laughs> so maybe that's why it's extra appealing to me. But the uh, basically 2787, I really do like like on a ball peen 24 and then sort of soft face. I kind of like that same 2432 range. So I kind of wonder about that guy. Uh, the holders that we've got, they've been really, really good. So uh, that is your gift ideas. Again, this is going to be here presumably up through maybe even a little bit past Christmas. Check it out. I don't know if they're going to fluctuate the price or they're kind of set. Again, they might have some sale come up type of a deal. Uh, but there are definitely some fantastic bargains here. Again, 64% off third, 50% uh, off just look at it see what you want again like if you're like oh hey those shears do look good and i could give those to my girlfriend who's super into gardening go to the berger tab check it out see what you think there and uh, make your decision at that point now while we are here it would be remiss if i did not come in here and do this okay there are some things here this is from vera obviously it's limited edition so probably like not back orderable there's two of these I'm sure this will probably sell out. People see the video. 4533, you might be able to get this cheaper in the commemorative package than you can if you were to just buy that. We're not going to actually take the time to check into it, but I suggest you do that. If you snag over here on the Dark Gary Friday, the SAE set, well, 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 come take yourself over here, pick these up, and boom, you've got stupid nice hex keys, SAE and metric. Uh, moving in over here, you got sort of the same package, right? It's actually, is that the same design? Yes, it is, as far as I can tell. Nah, not exactly. They're, the present is cropped, all right? This is a wider package, so the more comes into view, but I'm sure it folds over on the sides. Anyway, this is a nice way to get into a bit check. This is a very basic bit check. You want to always check the contents here, which you can go to attributes. And you're going to see right there, basically T10 through 40, Posi 1 through 3, Phillips 1 through 3. So, again, it's not going to be like high-end crazy bits or anything exotic. You know, no like ratchets or bit drivers. But it would give you a feel for the bit check. And honestly, that's possibly very, very useful to a lot of people, particularly if you burn through bits. So, uh, this right here. Sadly, again, I'm crazy busy. I don't get to shoot off the emails or do things in advance like I'd like to do with this, but this is the advent calendar. Yes, fear not. I have one. 
<laughs> I've not made the video. Um, but out of stock. I don't know that it, this is why I wish I you know could have checked with Colin ahead of making this video. They might. I know they got a huge. He told me they had a massive shipment of these things come in. I would not be surprised if this is it, but they might restock. What I will do for you in the comments section, I will come in and uh, as soon as I get confirmation like, hey, this was it, we're trying to get more, or hey, this was it, we can't get more, or hey, don't worry, you know, November 13th, they're projected to be here. Whatever I find out, I will try to update you. My advice, if you wanted this, bookmark it, refresh it, check it daily, whatever. Uh, maybe get like on a notification list if they have it. Again, it very possibly could be gone. Uh, this is why I always tell you, buy this early. I know it comes out stupid early. You're thinking like Labor Day, this is ridiculous. It's not even been Halloween. <laughs> you just have to pull the trigger on this thing when it's out. If you screw around and wait for like a super cheap discount or tool of the day, as much as I advise that, you do run the risk of this happening and missing out on it. Now, I'm sure you can find this somewhere else. It might be scalped. It might be another legit retailer with a similar price. Who knows? Maybe you can find a better price with it being kind of crunched because the guy's like, hey, we're not going to sell all these before Christmas and we're stuck with them. It's a risk you take, right? You know, if you want to wait until January 1st, maybe you get really lucky and you can score this thing for 40 bucks from someone, but... You know, if you want it, if it's special, whether it's for yourself, a gift, if you collect it, if it's just like, man, this is actually really useful, gotta act fast. So, right here, this is kind of the same way. Again, I told you, you know, you would think, I would think that this would sell out first, right? You know, <laughs> your sleeved elkies. But no, no, no. People come in and buy that funkily. I am not. I mean, I do kind of dig it because it's so unique. But it's like mustard and ketchup. I think I'd prefer ketchup and mustard on my VDE. doesn't look terrible. It's just like in your face. You, you're going to love it or hate it or just be like, that's definitely unique. I think that's where I fall. But this sells out before the Elkies. Make it make sense? I can't. You see it all the time. I've covered this stuff for years now. And it's just what happens with this stuff. So a little two-piece set. You had your bottle opener and you had the uh, VDE and it is gone. Now, great price, yes. But well, again, gone. Now, if we ran into a situation where, yes, 100%, that was it. They're not getting any more of our advent calendars and you're bummed out. You were looking at, what, 85 bucks basically? Check this out. This is from Hazette. Typically, I have really liked the Hazette Alvin calendars. This one I really like as well. It's just the problem is I've kind of got this, like, uh, covered, like, possibly even twofold. Uh, it is going to be a bit higher. Again, if, if you don't have any of this, if you were unaware... Which, again, I've got videos on all this stuff. They're just not out yet. But this is kind of like I just showed you the tool check, <laughs> right, uh, over here, the bit check. Hazette is kind of in that realm, okay? And they're, in my opinion, doing a pretty good job of it. Um, maybe not as economically friendly, <laughs> but uh, it's it's some really good stuff. And, again, like if you don't have this little bit driver handle and you don't have their little bit driver ratchet, this is a fantastic deal. Advent calendars are typically a place where you can get a great deal and where you sort of preview some stuff in upcoming releases, you know, most of the time anyway. But uh, I don't know that I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence with this. I feel like I could use it and stash it somewhere. It's a great kitchen drawer, a great desk type of a kit. I mean, fantastic for that stuff. But at the same time, it's like, man, you know, I kind of have that covered, right? So I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Uh, but again, I do really, really like what Azet does with these. Star Villa, we don't have an advent calendar, sadly, which is kind of a sad sad deal uh they did some really good stuff like i'm talking ratchet and socket sets kind of like you know big boy tools not just like hex keys and bottle openers and stuff and for whatever reason i guess probably price related versus vera i don't think it like fared as well and they just have not come back with that and i for one am kind of bummed about it they did some really cool like augmented reality stuff too if you recall <laughs> so anyway um I show you this why 
it is in stock it is available this thing will go it will i guarantee you it'll it'll be gone but if you're like man i was doing the advent calendar this year can't believe i missed it consolation prize upgrade you considerably more money yes but i mean look at what you're getting you're getting the bit ratchet which that's your big chunk of change there <laughs> okay uh this one i don't like spoil it too much but you kind of i mean it, this is pretty good too especially this little guy don't sleep on this uh, they're very nice and also a kind of a stand that we might see if i had to guess in the future but yeah, that is that. Again, Dark Gray Friday, number one. You've still got access to this. If you like, man, I've got to have those for 55 They're gone. I missed it. You missed it. Hopefully some of y'all got in on it. <laughs> but, uh, I am shocked this is still here. I, again, I don't know how many of these they had. But at $14, like, that's just insane. So... Uh, this one, I think it was in stock Friday night when I saw it. I, again, I don't imagine they had as many of these as they do the rest of this stuff. But if you pick that up, let me know too. I would assume this is probably either collectors buying that. I guess it's the 75th anniversary for Heiko. Or somebody saw that and was like, oh, you know, I'm a mobile tech that has to go out in the field. This is it. This is This is what I've been looking for. Let me know uh, if you picked that up. Hopefully some of you did. Maybe you can like uh, share some pictures of it or something. Uh, not not the most economical thing there, no, but it's just stupid cool. So that said, I guess we need to come in here and go to... Oh, there was something else I was going to do. So let me, let's jump here real quick. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. All right, this is your sign. This is your sign. This is a background without the bow. That's because this is one of their essentials. Uh, basically, like if you're wanting to get into German tools, try this, right? Most of you are probably going to use metric L keys before you would SAE. But uh, if you're like, yeah, you know, this little guy right here, I just, just talked about this. I don't know the tool of the day in advance. <laughs> but uh, this guy right here for 45 I said, hey, check, you might be able to get that cheaper. Boom, there it is, cheaper. My advice to you, buy this for $30, go to Dark Gray Friday. Let me just kind of navigate this for you. Buy this for $25. For $55, you have some phenomenal hex keys, and you basically got them at a song. Cannot go wrong there. So uh, then you can tell me, like, do you love the sleeve or do you hate the sleeve? <laughs> because it's pretty, you would think, like, most people would like that. You know, take it easy, tool finder. But just for me, it's the comfort of it. I think it looks cool, but it's the comfort thing. Um, I have had lots of situations, actually, where that sleeve has prevented me from going in deeper. You can cut it back. You're not going to cut it near as good as it's formed right there. But uh, I surprisingly have a lot of you say, like, you hate that sleeve. You love the hex key, but you hate the sleeve. So I think that's going to be more 50-50 than you would think. Uh, again, looking at it, you'd be like, whoa, those are nice. You know, and uh, then you like start to get feedback from people, and that's you know like people that actually use them. It's not like oh you know collecting aspect and toolbox candy. This is like hey you know I thought that was cool, but man, and of course the more you use them, just even taking them in and out of those sleeves, you know your text kind of rubs off type of a thing. But yeah, uh, I do know people that like just despise that sleeve. So uh, let me know your thoughts on that. But this is big. I think I've. I record so many videos and then like you're not gonna see them for forever but sometimes I release them early this is huge <laughs> this is the seasonal I know I've covered this but I don't know like if that video is released I kind of think it did maybe it had I like I said since March I have I basically live at work okay this is Ooh, yeah, there's some fantastic deals here. All right, so I'll just start at the top here. Uh, we got the bare handle three eighths. This is their super nice fine tooth ratchet. Eighty five bucks. That's fifty percent off. Stavilla Hazet. When you start seeing price breaks above forty, it is go time. Do not hesitate. <laughs> okay, uh, you will probably regret it. Eighty five dollars. That is just. That's great. Uh, you cannot go wrong there. If you're on the fence, now this is the seasonal, so like this is going to run through the end of the year, basically. I don't know that it's typed out, but I want to say 1230. The flyers tell me it's essentially the last quarter, right? So through December 30th, 31st, I guess we would say. 
So you've got some time. So my advice, if you need quarter, if you need three eighths, if you use one or the other, if you want to try the comfort grip or some of you, uh, same thing. I know people that absolutely hate the Stahlvilla comfort grip. They say it's too bulky. Uh, hey, get your bare handle here. Try the ratchet like this. If you want to try the comfort grip or you can just use quarter more, go to town. If you like the quarter, you're going to like the three-eighths. If you like the three-eighths, you're going to like the quarter. Quarter and three-eighths for me have performed equally. They are fantastic. The one that kind of get, drives me nuts is the half. It's just, it's like a total, it's the same thing, just bigger, <clears throat> but uh, it just does not feel as smooth ever. I've got so many half-inch, one of them being from an Advent cowl, not Advent, but like Christmas special, if you will. I had to get some water there. Uh, but quarter and three-eighths, I've never had anything but satisfaction with those. And again, buy this, buy that, get whichever one you need. If you like the way it performs, come back on your next order, grab the other one. Again, fantastic prices. With these, you're not pressed for time. If these ratchets sell out, you can order them still. Again, this is basically through the end of the quarter or the year in this case. Right here, we have got three torque wrenches one two and three so right here we have got the uh, 730 this is going to be six to 50 newton meters this is going to be the one where you control the interchangeable head the stavilla torque wrenches uh, we don't have one right now it's been on my agenda this is probably the time to do it 45 49 and 49 right uh, they have a very unique adjustment method and uh, i think people will like that I think some of them you can kind of leave set. Uh, they're that style. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I've been trying to figure out what route to go and I just haven't had enough free time to do it. Coming down here, the 721, you've got the half, 40 to 200. And then you've got the 38 to 6 to 50. Again, that's Newton meters. If you're old school like me, these do have a foot pound scale, pound feet scale, whatever you want to say. All <laughs> right. Uh, even though it's typed one way, it's always said the other. Um, Pay attention to that. Make sure it's in the range you want. Make sure it's in the drive size you want. And uh, kind of go to town from there. So right here, this would have been an epic pairing with that open inset on the Dark Gray Friday. 63% off. You're going to pay $50 to get six Style Villa wrenches. This is their Series 13, so it's going to be like their standard length, you know, default. Uh, not the long pattern series 14 or anything, but I believe it's like 8, 10, 13, 17, 19. Must have something else with it to be six pieces. <laughs> let's, let's verify here. Yeah, there's a 7 as well. So if you're thinking like, oh, you know, geez, I needed the 14 or, you know, where's where's my you know, metric equivalent or dadgum, I needed the larger size. Use this as your starting point and buy the individual wrenches. I've done videos on this in the past where, like, you wind up, not in this case, but, like, for some reason with Stavilla, uh, if you wanted to buy a wrench set like this and it wasn't 63% off, you could go in and you could buy these six wrenches individually and you would save money. You wouldn't get the sweet textile case, but you would save money, all right? So it's crazy. It doesn't make sense. anti the American concept, but that's just the way it's been every time I've actually sat down and crunched the numbers. So uh, pairing that with those open end, ooh, you got a nice thing going there. Now, coming up here, some of you probably saw this. 100 bucks, 60% off. These right here, they're 17.5. That's going to be the uh, Series 17. That is a ratcheting box end with the push through, right? Sort of looks like Cabo style. These have the same aesthetics as Stavula wrenches. You're going to think, oh my gosh, German Stavula ratcheting wrenches for a hundred bucks in the cart right now. They're made in Taiwan. I say that, but virtually any ratcheting wrench is made in Taiwan. You have very, very few exceptions. Uh, the Joker and stuff from Ghidor being the exception, those are especially the Ghidor. As much as I like that, it's surprisingly good for as low of a tooth count as it is. But high tooth count stuff, people have kind of grown accustomed to. That's sort of this. Again, if you recognize that push-through button, if you've used anything like that, that's about the performance you can expect. Uh, they're surprisingly good. Again, I hate seeing that. I hate seeing it with American companies, Japanese, German uh, going, you know, China or Taiwan, but again, Taiwan has so, so many patents on ratcheting wrenches and mechanisms and such. 
and they do it quite well. Uh, you know, there's only so many places that make this stuff, and for Stahl Villa to put their name on it, I feel confident they've hunted down the best, or what they felt was the best, and went to town there. The knock I have always had on these is the price. Like, you know, the reason we didn't go that route and buy, like, a full set or something, the price. When you go to Taiwan, I don't expect to pay Stavila prices, right? I don't expect to pay Hazet prices when it's something that's made in Taiwan. That's where I expect to pay more like a Harbor Freight price, right? Something, you know, a little higher probably, but something in that range. <laughs> and, uh, with these, you are not doing that. You are paying a premium until now because this is a fantastic deal right here what are you going to get 8 10 13 17 90 that's going to cover you the vast majority of the time minus any larger sizes of course again come in if you're like oh, i needed the 14 buy it standalone you have saved enough money to totally do that so uh just stupid stupid good deal there so uh you get your standard wrenches you get your ratcheting wrenches you got quarter and three eighths You've got your choice of three torque wrenches, and it gets better right here. 300 I know. You're like, oh, that is, that's a lot of money for a little quarter-drive socket set. Why is it 33 pieces, you say? Well, take a look. It's Series 40 MA. What does that mean? That means metric and American. This is actually metric and SAE. I want to say it goes through 9 sixteenths and 14 millimeter. Uh, which is a big deal to me. You always hear me say that. The 5.8 stuff, it's only because pegs exist for Mechanics Time Savers. But 9.16, I am a stickler for that. Okay, totally understand cutting it off before that, but if I'm going to do something quarter, I want to be able to go and run 9.16 and have my 3.8 hardware covered. This does that. This does that very, very well. Take a gander at it. Uh, this is not going to be the same ratchet. This is going to be the step down from what you uh, saw on the main page. You get the breaker bar. You get the driver. I don't know if that's the locking driver. I've never actually paid enough attention to this yet. It may just be the fixed one. Hmm, interesting. But uh, if it is, hey, go to town with that. The locking one, one of my favorite things Stavilla makes. Uh, you get a couple of extensions here. You get the flexible extension. That is a pretty penny. You get the T-bar if you want to go old school. You get a universal joint. And then check that out if you can see the foam inlay. You've got 14 all the way down to a 3.2. What? You metric people gripe about fractions. What in the wormhole is that? 3.2, I think is what the... I don't think that's in zero. Because they would not have a decimal, they would just have the three. That's strange. I'm sure it equates to something, but that would probably be with a you know decimal and fraction, right? <laughs> so, SAE, it looks like we got 3 16ths up to 9 16ths. That is a fantastic size range. These are going to be six points. Stavilla sockets are immaculate. Uh, the fact that the breaker bar is on there is super cool. If you're curious about specs on any of these, right here you've got it all included. Uh, again, I know that seems spendy, but go in and look at what Stavilla charges for this stuff. Price it out, and then their cases are really nice. Uh, so right there, you're kind of getting a larger one than what I've got, but that's that's a pretty solid buy, believe it or not. So coming in next, and you're like, next, that was the last thing, bozo. No, 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 have faith. Boom, right here. So if you're like, wow, I love that, but that's a little steep, and you know, to be honest, I don't use that SAE. Well, here is your ticket, friend. This is the basically metric equivalent to that. You're giving up the <laughs> you know, flex extension. You're giving up the drive handle. And you are also giving up the uh, sweet little breaker bar. But let's be honest. How many times are you going to use a quarter drive breaker bar? You know, uh, Probably more than you would think if you had one. But basically here, 4 through 14. I'm sorry, 13. So this drops it. You don't start as small. You don't go as big. But again, that's also reflected in the price of $130. Uh, this would be a great start point, again, especially if you don't do SAE. And if you're like, man, I really wanted that flex extension in the drive handle, buy them individually. You're, you're going to be fine. Um, this is going off my memory. I think this is probably the best seasonal uh, number one there's nine items which you oftentimes don't have that many but number two there's some still like i get it not everybody's gonna buy the torque wrenches but if you needed one or you've wanted to try one 
These are stupid good prices on them. Same thing, a lot of you probably have avoided their ratcheting wrenches for the simple fact you're like, oh, made in Taiwan at that price, that's crazy. This is the time to go. This is kind of where, I don't even, this is a little lower than you would think you'd get them for, but it's in the ballpark, and it's a great time to strike. The wrenches, that is stupid cheap. You cannot and will not go wrong with that, regardless of what you plan to do with those. Even if you just wanted to make cool toolbox drawer pulls, right? You know, in ascending sizes, the $50, you have the coolest drawer pulls on a block. Coming up there at the ratchets, those are their high-end ratchets. You got your bare handle, you got your comfort grip. Price points, again, almost 50% off. What is not to love? So uh, what I wanted to take away from this for you, aside from possibly you helping me with a chuck, <laughs> is simply this, okay? Dark Gray Friday number one is here. Majority of it's still in stock. Uh, you will want to act fast. Those are stupid good prices on everything. Uh, the seasonal is stupid, stupid good. Uh, again, that one's not as pressure filled, right? Dark Gray Friday, you gotta go. It's gonna be here for a limited time. The seasonal, you got quite a bit longer. So, also, we got to cover some of the Christmas stuff, and this is way longer than I wanted it to be. Because, to be totally honest, I need to be in bed because I get like three hours of sleep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I am, uh, I'm going to get this thing rendered out for you and uh, take it from there. So, again, I don't know why these videos seem to always do well universally across YouTube. I would personally, you know, like, I'm fully capable of looking at websites and flyers and magazines myself. Uh, I guess sometimes people like the guidance or something. I prefer action, like, ooh, tools, you know, new stuff. Why did you buy it? What are you going to do with it? <laughs> but, uh, for whatever reason, you know, channels that do much better than me, I could just come in here and film on the Harbor Freight website and people eat it up. So uh, it's not like that's a hard thing to do. That's way easier, actually. It saves time. But it's also just a convenience thing. Like, I mean, if I do that, that's super, super easy. And to be honest, I do it anyway. I just don't narrate it out loud <laughs> in my head. So, uh, yeah, Dark Gray Friday. Take advantage, my friends. Uh, we'll just come in and click here. So, again, November 3rd, that's when we launched. We've got this one coming the 10th, well, the 17th. I assume they're doing it the 24th. I don't know if they're going to have like something massive, you know, or like some hodgepodge or bring them back from the dead or uh, who knows. Just basically stay tuned. You can subscribe to KC Tool if you haven't for little emails. Um, you can just go to kctool.com. That's, that's an easy way to do it. Dark Gray Friday is probably going to stay right up here at the top for your convenience. Again, tool of the day right here, the seasonal. Ooh, the seasonal. Uh, good stuff. And then again, we got to show you some of their gift ideas, which again, you can find right here. So with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a little something. Hope you got something you've either already cashed in on that you can now brag about in the comment section, or you're like, holy smoly. <laughs> You know, I got to go get some of that. So if you saw something that caught your eye, you're going to pull the trigger. Again, feel free to leave a comment. Let everybody know what you're, what you're going to snag, why you're snagging it, and uh, what your hopes and dreams are for the rest of the Dark Gray Friday. But with that said, again, my apologies if I sound tired. It's because I am. I'm super, super tired. And uh, I'm going to get this thing processing out. I'm going to go shower. And if I'm awake enough, I'll have this thing uploaded. And hopefully you see it Wednesday morning. So, Or technically here in like eight and a half hours. So, yeah. Uh, with that said, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I do timestamps. I don't know if I'm going to take time to do that here. Like I'm just going to be honest with you. I am, I'm that tired. So... Uh, yeah, try. I do my best to take a, take care of you. You know, make sure you get in on the good deals. Uh, if you're curious about Instagram or you've contacted me on Instagram, I haven't been on there in months. Uh, I keep thinking like, yeah, you know, daylight savings time. Oh, things will slow down at work. And, you know, then, you know, pinion gears break and racks break and jaws seize up on chucks. And uh, I've got a shear I need to fill. I haven't even got to get to that. And the iron worker's down. Yeah, it's just... And then I need to do all that before I can actually do all the stuff I need to do to get caught up. And I can't get caught up when people keep breaking everything. Like I turn around and I fix something and somebody breaks something else. It's just kind of a nightmare. 
<laughs> so as I say that, like my eyes, I can barely keep them open, but uh, you know, I shall persevere. So uh, once again, let me know what you picked up, what you hope to pick up, what you'd love to see. In general, what do you think of the Dark Gray Friday? I, I think I'll take four Fridays of epic deals versus one, so uh, that's a win for me. <laughs> Hopefully it's a win for you, and uh, hopefully it turns out good for KC too. There are some stupid goodbyes, folks. I hope you can take advantage of a few of them. And with that said, as always, thanks so much for watching. Uh, again, haven't got to plug him for a while, but we brought him up here at the start of the video. The channels get buried as you don't do anything or you're unable to upload or something. If you dig German tools and you like my stuff, you're like, man, I wish there was like somebody that you know tested this stuff or head to head. Uh, there was. It was German Tool Reviews. If you have not heard of his channel, if you have not seen his channel, go back and check it. Uh, he's sort of how I like, hmm, KC Tool, is that a legitimate website? And I was like, well, this guy is at least getting stuff from them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if uh, if you have not uh, seen that channel, you, you're in for a treat. Hopefully he can keep you entertained between my two uploads. So with well, that said, I got to quit rambling. I got to gotta get to bed here. So thanks for watching. Hope you cash in. Again, let everybody know what you do. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. LoneStarMopars.com is a website. You can find us Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Not that I have time to be there, but I'm at least loyal to YouTube. Wednesday, Saturday, 9 a.m. Texas time. We got you covered. And uh, if you like stuff like this, again, let me know. Because, I mean, like, this is easy. I can crank them out. But uh, you know the drill. Got to go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you back here for more action from the shop or my desk. <laughs>